Thank you so much for your warm welcome. And it's always a pleasure to uh, collaborate and to be here in uh, the house of God. I'm going to look out at this uh, gathering tonight. I just can't help but say, oh, you beautiful people. <laughs> oh, you beautiful people. Because we are co-workers for the peace of the world. Amen. And we have a message to bear to humanity that we can get along. That religion need not be a cause for hatred and fighting and conflict, but should be the cause to lift up love and brotherhood, the love of God, the love of humanity, to see that of God in each of us, to see each of us as a member of the human family. And we should never let our faith cause us to look down on someone or disrespect them or feel like we're better because we do it the right way, you know, <laughs> than the next one. And uh, those of you who know me know I wear many hats, right? So you won't be surprised. But the um, Lake Worth Interface dedicated to building bridges between communities of all types, even those who might be, uh, we might consider a little strict or a little separatist. We like to invite them and include them as much as we possibly can. And those who tend to be inclusive and welcoming, of course, we want to invite them as well. And so this is work, you know, sometimes there are some uh, obstacles to overcome, sometimes there's misunderstandings and, and uh, difficulties to overcome. But we have uh, uh, three of our board members here tonight who um, i just like to acknowledge briefly John Pelosi, who spoke earlier on behalf of the Quaker Meeting House, uh, David Hall, who spoke in behalf of traditional Judaism, and Estelle Friedman, who's sitting in the back. You don't have to get up, Estelle who um, has a history with both Judaism and the Unity Movement. And um, uh, among the, my choices tonight, I was thinking, what prayer am I going to say, you know, because I have so much background, you know. There's a prayer by uh, the Rabbi Abraham Heschel about the power of prayer and what prayer can do and what prayer cannot do. I was going to say that. And then I thought, well, no, there's a prayer by Dr. King about how we all pray to Allah and Elohim and Brahman and Allah and uh, the Supreme Spirit, how it's all the same, you know. Well, that would be a good one to say to you. But uh, there is a specific prayer from uh, the Baha'i tradition that uh, I would like to share with you because uh, the Baha'i faith is all about unity. It's all about recognizing not only the spiritual teachers of the Abrahamic tradition, but also of the East, and also of native traditions in uh, Americas and Africa and other places. Because it's a, it's a tenet in Islam too, that God always sends messengers to the people that there's 124,000 prophets in the history of humanity. And we believe that, uh, that God has dealt with all people in their language, according to their custom, at different times and places. So uh, this is summarized well in uh, the Baha'i Prayer for Unity. O thou provider, thou hast breathed over the friends in the east the sweet fragrance of the Holy Spirit, and with the light of divine guidance thou hast lit up the western sky. Thou hast turned those who were once remote and made them draw near unto thyself. Thou hast turned strangers into loving friends. Thou hast awakened those who slept. Thou hast made the heedless mindful. O thou provider, the dearest wish of this servant of thy threshold is to behold the friends of East and West in close embrace, to see all the members of human society gathered with love in a single great assemblage, even as individual drops of water collected in one mighty sea. To behold them all as birds in one garden of roses, as pearls in one ocean, as leaves of one tree, as the rays of one sun. Thou art the mighty, the powerful, thou art the God of strength, the omnipotent, the all-seeing, and so thank you for each and every one of you who is in attendance tonight. Thank you to all the speakers. Thank you to Masjid Tawad for your warm welcome, and especially to Imam Sahir for his love and his beauty of, of heart and soul. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you.